NXL A-Level Maths Mechanics, October 2021, question 5. At time t seconds, a particle p has velocity v meters per second, where v equals 3t to the power of a half i minus 2tj. For part a, we need to find the acceleration of p at time t seconds, where t is larger than zero. So we've been given the velocity. The acceleration is the differential of velocity with respect to time. So we're going to differentiate the 3t to the half minus 2t. So 3t to the half, bringing the half down, taking one off the power. We've got a half times by that three, and then the power becomes minus a half. And then 2t, the differential of that just becomes two. So simplifying this, we get three over two times t to the power of minus a half i minus 2j. For part b, we need to find the value of t at the instant when p is moving in the direction of i minus j. So we've been given our velocity, 3t to the half i minus 2tj. For the particle to be moving in the direction of i minus j, we need our velocity to be a multiple of this. And as ours is already in the format of a number of i minus a number of j, if we can bring those coefficients equal to each other, then that will be a multiple of i minus j. So we need our 3t to the half to equal 2 to the t. So solving this, we're going to divide 3 by t to the half, which gives us 3 equals 2t to the half. Dividing both sides by 2, we get that t to the half equals 3 over 2. And squaring both sides gives us that t equals 9 over 4. At time t seconds, where t is larger than 0, the position vector of p relative to a fixed origin o is r meters. And when t equals 1, r equals minus j. So for part c, we need to find an expression for r in terms of t. So again, we're going to start from our velocity that we've been given. Our position vector is the integral of velocity. So we're going the opposite way to when we're finding acceleration. So integrating v, we're going to integrate our 3t to the half times i minus 2tj with respect to t. So remember when integrating, we add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So this becomes 2t to the power of 3 over 2 times by i minus t squared j. This is an indefinite integral, so we've also got our plus c on the end. To find this, we're going to use that second bit of information we've been given. So when t equals 1, r equals minus j. So at t equals 1, we're going to put that into our integral. So that becomes 2i minus j. We've still got the plus c on there, and this, this is all equal to the minus j that we've been given in the question. So both sides have got minus j on there, so c must be equal to minus 2i to cancel out the 2i that's there. Putting this back on the end, we get a final answer that r is equal to 2 times t to the 3 over 2i minus t squared j minus 2i. For part d, we need to find the exact distance of p from o at the instant when p is moving with speed 10 meters per second. So if we've got a speed of 10 meters per second, this means if we can find the absolute value of the velocity, which is the square root of the sum of the squares of the coefficients of i and j, this has got to be equal to that speed of 10. So we've got the square root of the sum of 3t to the half, all squared, plus 2t squared. Squaring those brackets, would give us 9t plus 4t squared underneath the square root. And if we square both sides, we get that this 9t plus 4t squared is equal to 100. Rearranging, we've got 4t squared plus 9t minus 100 equals 0. So here the quadratic to be solved. You could use the quadratic solve on your calculator. It's completely up to you. I factorized to get 4t plus 25 times t minus 4 equals 0. This gives us two answers. So negative 25 over 4, or 4, but we need a positive t because we're told that t is larger than 0. So we can't have the minus 25 over 4. Our value for t must be 4. We can now use this to find the exact distance. So we've got our position vector. We're going to substitute 4 into that. So we've got 2 times 4 to the power of 3 over 2i minus 4 squared j minus 2i. 
This simplifies to 16i minus 16j minus 2i, which is 14i minus 16j. Now we've got the position vector. We're going to do a similar thing to with the speed to find the exact distance. So the distance is the square root of 14 squared plus the 16 squared, which is square root of 452, or if you prefer, two times the square root of 113. Either of them are perfectly good for the answer. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.